I am back. All right. <laughs> All right. After I'm... like many failed attempts. Oh, hey, um before we get started, I um I watched your podcast uh from earlier this week just to see what what kind of format we're going for here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, um, I didn't watch. I watched some of the uh, basketball stuff. I'm not a huge basketball fan. Yeah. Um. But uh, you had a lot of interesting things to say about Chronicles. Um. If we have a little bit of time, I'd like to get into a little, little bit of that. Yeah, kind of definitely, definitely. Um. So you know what? Let's just start with that. So, what do you think? You you think eight maps, Zombie Chronicles? What do you think about it? What do you think? I would love eight maps. Let me just uh, let me just say that right off the bat. Um, but you brought up an excellent point in in your uh, previous podcast, actually, that um, we've had more maps throughout the entire DLC season and on disc yeah. than we've had um, with uh, uh, than we would have with the eight maps for DLC five. If if we get eight maps, of course. Um, like I said, I would love eight maps, uh, but then that brings up the questions which ones would they be if we get eight maps well yeah exactly like again we had that voice actor for rick coffin who was recording moon moon quotes yeah so i don't know if that like pretty much confirms that we're going to get a remastered moon or that i don't know because it wasn't you know like going to like 100 percent like detail it, it was just kind of like giving us a little bit a little bit of information there yeah yeah um i uh I, hmm. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what to like the whole thing with the voice actors. Cause I mean, it could just be that the voice actor is an idiot and doesn't know what character he's voicing. <laughs> yeah. He could just be voicing a completely different character. Yeah, that's that's a good point. You never know because he never like specified that. Well, yeah. I mean, he um he specified in the original tweet before he had to delete some things. Black Ops Three. And um, I think he actually said Edward Richtofen in his uh, in his hashtags, but then but like like I said, he might not know which characters Richtofen. Yeah, know? yeah, I know I know what you mean. It's just yeah. about just the whole thing with it. It just seems like unlikely that we're gonna get that many maps. I think like Zombie Chronicles is definitely still a possibility, but I just mm -hmm. don't think there's gonna be eight maps. I don't know. What do you think? Um. Like I said, I would love it for if there was eight maps. Uh, and you brought up in your uh, in your previous podcast when you were talking about this a little bit about um, the ease of which it is to uh, um, to remake maps. And I was thinking about that, and I'm not 100 percent sure it's so easy to remake maps. Uh, so like, if they just wanted to like remaster it, um, like change the textures, not add anything. Uh, because with the giant, for example, they not only changed all the textures, they added gobble gum machines, they added the three hit system, um, they changed the way the zombies move and stuff. They yeah. uh, made it more like Black Ops Three. Yeah, I see what you mean there. I think I was more like thinking about like how like they don't have to like, come up with like all the ideas for a new map and like you know mm -hmm. and for like storyline and stuff like that. Because if they remaster and rem remake things then they can just you know there's they don't have to continue with the storyline and explain more things they can just kind of like go back to how it was and they don't have to have like anything be extremely different and that's what i was trying to get at yeah yeah, yeah. i get that um the uh well i think my main problem with the eight maps thing is i severely doubt that treyarch i mean they're, they're a great company but i doubt that they can do um and I actually don't want them to do eight maps because if they spent their time working on eight maps, their next game is probably going to be shit because they should they, they shouldn't be focusing on DLC five or whatever. That should be kind of like an offhand thing. Uh, I yeah. mean, they, we kind of need it, or Activision kind of needs it, I guess, after the flop of Infinite Warfare. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. That's definitely for sure. But uh, I, I don't I don't know. Yeah, I, I really. Yeah, I agree with you in in the sense that like they should be definitely trying to make you know make their new game you know continue with that instead of you know trying to focus all of their time on eight maps. Even though I think everyone would love it, I think that it's it's of more importance that the next game that they that comes out is good. You know. Yeah, I mean, um, it, it's it's going to be super important um, their next game because Treyarch has been. 
Well, okay. Here's how I see the companies. There's first of all, you get into um, Treyarch. They they pretty much take stuff that already exists and they perfect it. Think Black Ops Two. Think uh, Black Ops Three. They perfected the um, the you know enhanced mobility factor that you know came into play in Advanced Warfare, for example. Yeah. Um, and which brings me to Sledgehammer. Uh, who who ma who made Advanced Warfare and are making the new game coming out World War II? Mm -hmm. um, I see Sledgehammer and I see a a company that is willing to take risks to change things. They did not when they made in, uh, Advanced Warfare. They did not just create a copy paste you know boots on the ground running type game. Everybody had been ragging on it, just like oh my god, it's the same game over and over year after year. So they changed it, and I admire their their braveness to change it, even though it didn't. It wasn't exactly as well received. Yeah, I definitely agree with you because what I was thinking about is like, I don't know if this is going to be like sort of a pattern, but I feel like you have, um, you know, Infinity Ward and then you have Sledgehammer and then you have Treyarch. Mm -hmm. um, and what my thing was that like, is there going to be a, 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 a kind of a pattern that goes like at, you know, Infinity or excuse me, um, Sledgehammer game starts off with a certain type of game, whether it be like Boots on the Ground world war Two advanced movement and like the other two kind of continue that and then they move on to like a different time period or something like that um because i don't know if that would be something that you know they would be wanting willing to do or not if everyone would just want to like follow the same pattern um up for like three years and then move on to a different time period or a different like era see what i would like is um maybe not like a uh well okay uh let me put it this way um I don't want Treyarch to do a World War II game. Um, oh, okay. I'm not, I'm not necessarily going to say that, though, because a World at War II would be pretty lit. Um, but if I had to say something that I hope Treyarch is going to do with their next game coming 2018, right? Um, with, I, I hope that it's kind of in between uh, where World at War was and Black Ops 1 was in the timeline. So... It might be a World at War II, or it might be something completely different. It might uh, focus on something else that happened in between there. Um, I'm I'm not really 100% sure what, um, but I don't know. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, well, we have to also talk about the trailer about World War II, which was released oh, yeah. yesterday. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, wait, I, <laughs> I got to... Hold up. Um, I want to see because the for Advanced Warfare, the uh, reveal trailer, or mm -hmm. excuse me, Infinite Warfare, had over 2 million dislikes. As of now, right now, ha has mm -hmm. over 2 million dislikes. And then, so you know kind of the ratio between um, what, they're, what they're going with. And then if you move over to the World War II trailer. Oh, yeah. It's much yeah, better. <laughs> much better. 671,000 likes, only 56,000 dislikes. So... I think that they're moving towards a better era, um, yeah. and a better time, you know, doing the right thing. But what did you think about the trailer? Do you, what did you think about it? Um, I was super hyped. I was, uh, did you watch the live stream that they did? Um, unfortunately, I only got to see, like, certain parts of it, but I didn't see the entire thing, no. Okay, well, I watched it afterwards. Um, I watched the part where they showed the trailer, they talked a little about the game development, um, they talked a lot about how they, uh, they spent a lot of time, like, using the weapons that we're going to be using in the game. So, like, they went on to, like, an actual... They went to the places that they're going to showcase in the campaign, and probably some of the multiplayers, because, you know, they generally derive those maps from the campaign. Yeah. Um, and they used a lot of the guns and the vehicles and stuff that we're going to be in and using to get the textures and graphics right. And I have high hopes, honestly. I saw that trailer, and... Uh, I'm already hype. I'm I'm already hype. <laughs> yeah. Um, it might not turn out to be fantastic, but I think I think I'm ready to take that chance. Yeah. I definitely I think that there's just going to be so, so so much more implemented into the game. Like I know there's um they have the um like where you can do like the co-op mode and then they have mm -hmm. the like multiplayer and then they have zombies which was also announced they only a screenshot yeah. but we know it's going to be like about the third reich and zo nazi zombies which you know after like world at war was released in what like 2008 you know or whenever um, um 
I don't know if you actually saw this, but uh, like maybe an hour and a half ago now. Uh, it was about an hour. Yeah, it's about an hour and a half ago. Maybe two hours now. Uh, Mr. Raffle Waffles um, uploaded a video. Um, and he, he went on to a, uh, like a, a confidential page on to like, uh, uh, I'm trying to think of a, a good example because it's not really like confidential, but it's like, it's like not clearly advertised. You have to know the link. Yeah. Um, and he went there and I think it was called, uh, call of duty slash, um, call duty.com slash, uh, classified. And, uh, there was like a little key, uh, like a um, old typewriter thing, and if you type in uh, certain keys, uh, it it has a it has a code. I think it's a a new horror rises, which is pretty awesome. And then it shows like a Manila folder with a couple pictures in it. Um, there's only two pictures right now, um, and I'm I'm actually I, I saw that video and I'm like whoa, I, I don't know. I'm I'm excited. Yeah, it's like that decoder thing or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's that's cool. I didn't see that till now, but that <laughs> it's yeah. get it's getting me really excited for what's about to come November of 2017. So when I first saw the screenshot for the zombies, um, first of all, that screenshot looked amazing. Yeah. Um, but I was actually a little disappointed, and you might wonder, wait, what? Um, but. I, I was hoping that they'd do something innovative. I mean, they did zombies last time with Exo Zombies, which was a flop. Um, I, th I feel like it'll be better this time because they're going for a more horror-style game, uh, less Exos and jumping around. Yeah. But um, I, I don't know. I was hoping for a year off of zombies a little bit. Really? Just a little bit. Um, because I know that zombies really, really wears out the community. Yeah, um, that's true. And... And, because, I mean, it's not really healthy. I know a lot of the big YouTubers uh, stay up, like, 24 hours when the map drops. And then they're, every second that they're awake, they're playing the map, looking for the Easter egg, doing all this stuff. And, A, it's not it's not super healthy for, um, yeah. <laughs> for you know, your health. Uh, <laughs> True. And uh, also, because, because we go back to what we were saying earlier about Sledgehammer being the really innovative one. Um, of the of the three game devs, I was hoping they'd do something kind of interesting. Um, the most, honestly, uh, the most interesting thing, the strangest one I think we've seen in the past few years, <clears throat> excuse me, is um, is ghosts actually, their extinction mode, and I know a lot of people didn't like it, but uh, I liked extinction mode. I mean, it wasn't like necessarily everybody's thing, but I enjoyed it. That's that's interesting because um yeah most people really hated that but I see what you mean when you say that it does wear out the community because I feel like what happens is that people don't appreciate a zombies map enough they appreciate the hell out of it like when it drops and mm -hmm. for the first like two weeks and then people are like craving for more but it, I feel you know and then they they just released a map and it's like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and but I see what you mean when you say Ghost. That that was the only Call of Duty game in the like past like seven years that I had I didn't buy. Mm. But yeah, it was innovative, and you know, Extinction. You know, as as bad as people liked it or didn't or loved it, it was innovative, and you can't you know argue with that. Yeah. Um. One other thing that Ghost did not 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 like to like say oh Ghost. This is a great game. It's not. It's not good. There are a lot of flaws with the game. <laughs> but one of the things that they did well, that I was really disappointed that no game dev has brought back, leaning. was the leaning system. The leaning yeah. system. Yeah. Um, I, I really thought it looked. It was good. It was a good idea. Uh, I think Rainbow Six. Uh, if you've played Rainbow Six Siege, I think they pulled it off better. Um, so maybe something like that would have been good. Yeah. Um, yeah. where it, have you played Rainbow Six Siege? Um, I do not. I, I have played it, but, like, very shortly in mounts. I have not played it, like, a lot. Okay, well, their leaning system is basically uh, when you're aimed in, you can hit the... You can press in the right or left joystick, and you'll lean that way, you know? Yeah. It's, uh, so like, you can lean from side to side. It, it allows you to get a better peek through doors and stuff. Yeah. I Yeah. And I, I think that's... Um, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, I think that's a good point, leading. Yeah, I think that um, we need 
and I think this is something that Sledgehammer is good at, is innovating. That's, it's just something that Call of Duty, after a lot of people are saying Call of Duty is dying out, the franchise is dead, that's, mm. I think something like this World War, World War Two game could pos- potentially, possibly, bring bring it back a little bit, you know what I'm saying? You know, mm-hmm. go back to its roots of, you know, co- where Call of Duty started. Yep. Yeah. Um, and going back to um, to some of the stuff that we've, we've been talking about World of War, uh, we, uh, not really World of War, but World War II, uh, the, the whole thing. Um, I, uh, I, I kind of wonder what other game modes they're going to have. Because, you know, with Black Ops 3, they had a lot of game modes. Like, I mean, you might want to rag on the campaign and say some of the other game modes are half finished. But they put in a lot, man. There was the campaign, nightmares, um, free run, zombies, multiplayer, dead ops two, uh, and then custom, like you know, modding yeah. tools. That is a lot. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's true, and I think that is um one of the reasons that it you it, Black Ops Three is still a playable game while people are going through the horrors of what is Infinite Warfare. It's still you can still you know it's still a playable game. It doesn't get old. Yeah, because there's so many features and about um, World War Two, they I I uh, I don't know if this is 100 accurate, but they um, have released two, you know, uh, confirmed game modes. One of them being War, where it's like the Axis versus mm-hmm. the Allies, and then one being Headquarters. Um, so right now, you know, we only have the two more game modes. Um, but what yeah. do you think about it? You think they'll be like real fun or what? Um, I really I think I think it'll be fun. I'm not. A huge multiplayer guy. Yeah. Um, I mean, I play sometimes. Uh, I haven't been a real big player since, uh, or multiplayer anyway. Since, man, it's got to be Black Ops Two. Mm-hmm. I played that game a lot. I got good at quick scoping. And then I came to Black Ops Three, and it's completely different. Yeah. Plus, I, I, I'm not. I haven't played a whole lot recently with the um, with the recent CODs in the multiplayer so i'm not accustomed yet to like the whole like wall running and stuff um so i i'm not super great at it i'm gonna be honest (laughs) yeah (laughs) well yeah because you have to adjust to everything going from boots on the ground to you know exos and then now you know back to boots on the ground so it's like you know it's no sweat if you don't know how because you know we're going back yeah uh, which also, you just saying that made me think of something super weird. This game is going to be some some people's first COD. Uh, since, so, you know, people who joined the COD community at Advanced Warfare, uh, or I guess really Black Ops 3. Um, I, can we count ghosts? I'm, I'm, I'm just going to say we don't count ghosts right now. All right. Just, yeah. just for this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, not counting ghosts, people who joined from Advanced Warfare up, um, this is going to be their first COD with boots on the ground, right? Yeah. I mean, I haven't played Advanced uh, or Infinite Warfare. Um, I got it for my brother because he wanted to play um, Modern Warfare Remastered. So we downloaded Modern Warfare Remastered, and uh, Infinite Warfare is just in my queue. I'm, I'm just not downloading it. <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> I... I saw some people play some of the zombies early on, and I'm and I just, I just thought mm, this just isn't for me, you know. Yeah. I know so. what you mean. Yeah. For I the hope... yeah. I'm sorry. Go. No, 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 no. I interrupt you. Go. Okay. Um. I I was gonna say um. I I mean it was good for what it was, you know. Um. The that they had a real like jovial theme, I guess. Uh, compared to a lot of the other ones, like Black, like uh, for example, Treyarch Zombies has been pretty serious, but also a bit strange. Yeah. Uh, like in its, it has a lot of weird things with the storyline, at least, like the alternate universes, the uh, the announcer, that kind of stuff. My hope is that with um, with World War Two, their zombies mode, since they are doing zombies mode. Um, is that it'll be more realistic, I guess. So not like... Plus, so I want it to be horror, kind of. So like, um, so like think more on the side of uh, the early um, Treyarch zombies. So like Noct, Vrucked, 
uh, Shino Numa, those ones that, that the ones that like you play and you're like, oh, this is a bit creepy, you know? Yeah, that's that's a very good point because I remember if I just go back to thinking the first time I played um, Zombies, which was, you know, Nazi Zombies Knocked and then, I you know, Kino, I used to be like really scared to play those things by myself. Mm-hmm. And then you move to Black Ops 3 and it's like, oh, this is a piece of cake. But like if you were to play Knocked or like a map like Kino by yourself, you'd get freaked out. Like, I, I you know, I don't know about you, but that, that was my like experience. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, so you were one of the people, so most people actually love Kino. Me, I never really got into it. And I know that's going to be a kind of a surprise to some people, um, cause I love zombies. Zombies is amazing. Um, I really got into the zombies part of Call of Duty, uh, around Black Ops 2 again. Uh, my first COD was Black Ops 1. Um, I went back and I played through the Modern Warfares and, uh, the Black Ops, they're in, World at War. I don't have World at War playthrough on my channel, but I do have all of the Modern Warfare, um, you know, the games on my channel, like, yeah. uh, and the Black Ops ones as well, all three of them. I don't know why I included Black Ops 3 in that, mostly because the same title. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's very much different from the other ones in the Black Ops series. Yeah, it is. It, it definitely is. Mm -hmm. it, from, I think that Treyarch, I think I just think there's something special and different um, mm -hmm. from the Black Ops and World of War games from Modern Warfare and then Sledgehammer because they all I feel like it's not it's not the same game every year. You can tell who's making the game. You can tell if it's Infinity Ward, if it's Sledgehammer, if it's um, Treyarch. I feel like they oh, all yeah. have yeah the, their personal way that they're gonna make a game, and it's just preference whichever one you like the best. Yeah. So you get uh, so, so here so here's how I view the view them. So you got Treyarch. The one who, like, I already kind of said this a bit earlier, the one who perfects things, Sledgehammer, the one who tries new things, and um, Infinity, Infinity Ward, which everyone is gets hyped for and then gets extremely disappointed for. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a good point. That's that's actually a very good point. Because, I mean, what Infinity, if I remember correctly, Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer, um, they both worked on the modern warfare series and i'm pretty sure that they were no they weren't the same company <laughs> but they both worked on that uh, like i think they traded off a little bit yeah and i don't know i feel like infinity ward if they have like a good premise like uh the modern warfare series um they can work with it and but if they don't they have to make stuff up you get stuff like ghosts and uh, you know, ad uh, Infinite Warfare. Yeah, I, that's a good point because I feel like, I don't know if this is just, you know, for Infinity War, but I think it's very tough to keep a game, um, one of your games that you're going to make successful if, if it's not p part of a series. Because if it's just kind of random games thrown out, as you said, I think it, it makes it tougher to, you know, uh, make make a game every year i think it's harder to make a campaign because you can't you know make storylines that continue and i think it just makes it harder to make a game in the total process i think okay but it also it also happens um it's hard to start a new series for the for a cot franchise what i'm is what i've gleaned recently um you had advanced warfare which was the first bit series um and Everyone kind of they kind of they played through it, and they thought the new mechanics were interesting, but they weren't quite quite perfect yet. So they kind of moved on to the next one. You get ghosts. That campaign, honestly, I like the campaign for ghosts. I thought it was pretty good. Um, I feel like the main problem with ghosts lies in the multiplayer, because um, the maps were ridiculously huge and it was yeah. very easy to be super cheap on that on those maps. Uh, but. But if, if you did you actually play no you didn't you didn't get the game but I did uh, not. at the end of the ghosts campaign it ends in a cliffhanger because they were going to make a ghosts 2 but they they put out the game and it was not well received so they're like okay guys we hear you we'll do something else ah so at the end of it it's just like you, you never know what happens. So the game's a couple years old now. So and uh, I'm assuming you're not going to get it. So spoiler alert: 
for those who, uh, unless you don't want me a spoiler alert, if you want to go back through and play it, stop me now. No, I, I doubt anyone wants to go back and play the game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what had happened in that game was it was a, uh, it wasn't like futury. I mean, it was kind of futury. It was. I, it was more modern kind of weapons, but in a little bit in the future where there's been like a huge war. Um, South America, for some reason, had like all the Latin America area has become like one giant, uh, you know, group, the Federation, and they're attacking the United States and they're winning somehow. Um, but, uh, and so then you have these American troops. Um, so the legend of the ghosts is because the ghosts are actually like characters in there. Um, that there was like a huge army of the Federation, which is the set of Latin America dudes, um, and they they like destroyed a lot of the American army. So the remains so of the survivors hid in the corpses, you know. Um, and then when the army was marching through over the corpses and stuff, the ghosts got up and they completely murdered the entire army. And uh, and so they're called ghosts because they're like rising from the dead, um, that kind of thing. Uh, and one of, and the whole plot of it is one of the ghosts turns evil, and he's working with the Federation because he got tortured or something. Uh, so he got, like, tortured in a cave, and it, like, destroyed his humanity or something, so now he's fighting America. Um, you know, that old plot line. Yeah. And at the end of the game, you think you killed the bad guy, right? And, mm -hmm. uh, so you and your teammate, I think, yeah, your teammate's actually your brother. Because, like, you're, you and your teammate are the sons of, a, of one of the ghosts. Um, so you're, like, a whole military family, that kind of thing. Um, and what ends up happening is that your brother gets... I think he gets killed, actually. And the bad guy, like, had killed your brother. Because, like, it's, the, it's you two sitting on, like, a, a beach or something. Um, and you think the bad guy's dead, but he's not. So I think he kills the brother, and then he starts dragging you away. And it's implied that you get tortured, like, um, like, like the like the traitor did. Yeah. And so it's implied that your character is going to be one of the main bad guys in the next one that never ended up happening. <laughs> wow. Which, and I I mean that's that's like very basic. Uh, you miss like basically the rest of the campaign. Um, but honestly, I, I like the storyline that they, that they built up there. Um, talking over, it kind of, it's, it's kind of like, wait a minute, that, a lot of plot holes there. <laughs> yeah. But, um, I feel like it could have been flushed out really well if they'd continued it. Uh, but, you know, they had problems in their multiplayer, and unfortunately, that caused that series to, series to end. And I feel the same thing has kind of happened with Infinite Warfare. I didn't actually play through the campaign of that one. I haven't, like I said, I've downloaded the game, but yes. I know, <laughs> but I know a lot of people were just turned off of it immediately because it had like the space stuff, you know. Yeah. I, yeah, I see what you mean there. Um, me personally, and I think you two, uh, turned turned off by the space stuff. Most people were, but I think it fa it just failed. It failed because I think people weren't excited from it from the beginning. As soon as the trailer leaked, mm -hmm. people were like, nope, I'm done with this game. And I think that's what made it kind of, you know, go, you know, not get the sales up. It was down by, I think, December 50% from when it was mm -hmm. from a year ago from Black Ops 3. And I just think people were kind of done with the exos after Black Ops 3. All right, move on to something new. Do you agree yeah. or no? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, which is, uh, which is another good thing that, uh, that we have to talk to talk about Sledgehammer. Um, with a game series like Call of Duty, where you're releasing titles year after year after year, the, all three companies have to be working together to, like, plan the next couple things. So, um, what had happened was, after the release of Ghosts, um, the year before that was Black Ops, wait, okay. Was it Black Ops 2, Ghosts, and then Advanced Warfare? Or was it Advanced Warfare, Ghosts, Black Ops 3? It was Black Ops 2, 2012, Ghosts, 2013, Advanced Warfare, 2014, Black Ops 3, 2015. Okay, thank you. Um, because at that point, everyone in the community was like, please do something new, you know? Yeah. We, 
we have been doing the same thing. It's it's all been boots on the ground. There's been no innovation uh, for years since like back going back um, to at least modern warfare, which is a good solid amount of time. I mean that's that's a fair point. So all of the companies at this point are like okay, because they'd all just finished their cycle, and this entire time people are like we need innovation, and so you get like all three companies innovating at the same time, and it kind of has different effects. So you get the, the introduction, introduction of EXOs and uh, advanced movement systems um, in advanced warfare. And then in, in uh, Black, Ops, Black Ops 3, um, they, they, they work with that and they try and uh, change it a little bit so it works better. And, and uh, they did it more subtly. And I think that's one thing that I have to say about Treyarch is they do things subtly. Um, like the Exos in uh, Advanced Warfare were very uh, jolty, I guess. I guess is the right word. Yeah. Um, but it felt a lot more smooth in, in Black Ops 3. And you might argue that that's from the companies working together. And um, Treyarch saying, oh, this is what happened. Um, but, but at that point, they're pretty late into development, right? When, when that game's starting to get reviews. So... I'm not 100% sure that was all, uh, like, collusion between the companies, I guess. Yeah, I don't think that, you know, they can completely, Black Ops 3, you know, completely come up with something different after, you know, the game before it is released. They can, like, edit and stuff like that. Um, mm -hmm. But, like, you know, I don't think they did something like Infinite Warfare did where... After they, after the trailers did so bad, where they completely changed the game to try to make it as close to Black Ops Three as they could. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I don't. I think that Black Ops Three, or I'm sorry, Treyarch has a very good spot in the cycle of innovation. They have like the middle. So they can improve. The middle, right. Yeah, they can improve upon the one before. Without um, being old yet. Yeah, yeah. Without you know another game coming out and making it old. But again, if Infinity Ward, you know, they don't have to do what the recent past two games did. You know, mm -hmm. they can they can innovate however they want. So, and I I feel like the CODs have to like the three COD companies, you know, Treyarch, um, and Infinity War, Infinity Ward, and um, and of course Sledgehammer. They have to kind of work together. Like, okay, guys, this is the plan for our next couple games, um, and let's let's see each other's plans for the next couple of games, and we'll like see, okay. We're going to have, like, a lot of, uh, say, World War II games coming up. We might want to move some of the World War II games later and bring forward some of the more, like, uh, I don't know, Cold War um, timeline games uh, or whatever they decide on doing. That way, it's, like, variety. Even if it's not, like, a huge amount of gameplay variety, it's still, like, variety in time periods between the companies. And I feel like that could help COD a lot. Yeah, you're you're one hundred percent right, guys. We gotta get we gotta get James doing Infinity Ward. <laughs> he, he'd probably be doing better than what they're doing over there right now. Y but you're right. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, like yeah, if they're gonna, they could make a different game. You know, even though it could still be boots on the ground without it. You know, being in the same time period, which is what you said, which is a very good point, because then there's still innovation to the point where people are gonna buy it, so they don't get old, so it, it doesn't get old. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, going back to uh, the flop of the trailer that was um, Infinite Warfare, uh, I, fe I feel like there was a lot of hate around that for a lot of different reasons. So, one, uh, they had done a tired idea at this point. Uh, you know, advanced movement, uh, people were not enjoying space. They're like, please, gravity. We like yeah. gravity. That yeah. makes more sense. Um, and then, not only that, they tied it to one of the most beloved David Bowie songs ever. So not only did they piss off uh, people in the COD community, they pissed people off in the music community. <laughs> and they pissed people off in the COD and music community, like the ones who liked both. Infinity Ward cannot win. Let's just determine <laughs> that right now. Infinity Ward cannot win no matter Infinity what they Ward do. cannot win. <laughs> Ghosts. And... Infinite Warfare. <laughs> Plus... On, on another, the main reason that fit, the other main reason that that failed, is that trailer dropped this around the same time. Like it was when a, within I want to say a week of the Battlefield One trailer. Yes. And 
people saw World War One, boots on the ground. <laughs> Everyone and, has a stroke. And and they immediately just like wanted that. Yeah. And then they saw what um, then they saw what Infinity Ward had been working on. And it, honestly, I haven't played it. Like I said, it's probably a good game. You know, I'm I I enjoy the campaigns generally. I think I think they're an interesting way for them to tell a story. Um, I feel like it would have been good. It would have explored some of the questions that uh, that are going to that are going to happen in the next you know in the coming years, even in real life, of what happens when space travel and um, space technology becomes so good that we can send people into space pretty much whenever we want. How is that going to affect warfare? How is that going to affect trade and commerce? That kind of thing. They probably explored a lot of that. Um, I don't know at this point because I didn't play the game. But um, I, I, I just... It could have been done better. Um, and I feel one of the main problems, like I said earlier, was Battlefield 1's trailer. And people saw that. They're like, oh, World War One Because... There have not been a lot of World War One games. I mean, but people saw that, they just thought, wow, we can do stuff with this. Yeah. The campaign, I I played very little of it for Infinite Warfare. Mm -hmm. It's it's better than Black Ops 3. The reason I think people didn't like Black Ops 3s was because there it had nothing to do with Black Ops 1 or Black Ops 2. Yeah. Um, yeah. But for Infinite Warfare, the main reason I think that me i didn't like the game i gave it a chance you know the with the advanced movement whatever the reason i did not like it is because i just did not think it was balanced the multiplayer i just didn't think that it was balanced the mm -hmm. guns everything i just i was not a fan of it and again we come back to infinity ward's main problem they can have all these great ideas all these great innovations all these great ideas for stories but if you do not have a balanced game people will not like it yes exactly um i, I just I, I don't i don't understand how they're not getting this call of duty is a multiplayer game at heart real i mean the campaign's an add-on in my opinion and of the third game mode's an add-on in this in like if it was if there was only one game mode we all know which one it would be for call of duty or we all did a couple years ago. At this point, it might it might start switching to zombies. A lot more people saying zombies than uh, multiplayer. But in general, since its inception, Call of Duty has been a multiplayer game. It's been a, uh, you know, a battle game. And, yeah. Yeah, I think that hopefully World War II will help that. I think hopefully the next... The next time, you know, when Treyarch makes a game in 2000, and it's released in 2018, mm -hmm. you know, because even though I, you know, you might like zombies better, I li or I might like zombies better, whoever, Call mm -hmm. of Duty and the roots of Call of Duty will always be multiplayer. And if you can't get that right, you're not going to have a successful COD. Yeah, it's not going to flourish. Doesn't even, it doesn't matter how good your, uh, your second and third game mode are, you know, being, um... The campaign and then your third game mode generally zombies uh if, if those those could be spectacular and the greatest thing on the planet but if you don't have a first game a good first game mode then it's finished yeah, yeah. mostly because it's under the cod thing um so yeah uh how long have we been going we've actually been going for about 40 minutes we have wow this, this is kind of long for your podcast, isn't it? It is, yeah. Well, it's a lot easier to talk about stuff when you got more than one person doing it, you know? Oh, yeah. Um, if, if, I, I'm happy to keep talking longer if you want, but um, if you would also like to uh, end it to keep it within your normal time range, we could do that, too. I mean, you know, anything else you want to talk about, anything, it's all open. It doesn't have to be limited to video games or anything, you know? Uh, okay, let's... Um... What we could talk about, um, well, let's see. What kind of thing? What kind of other things do you do, you do on your channel? Besides, I mean, I looked at the basics of your channel, but I didn't get a uh, 
I didn't get to like watch a whole lot of your videos. It's so, like, what do you what do you actually like do on your channel for my viewers? Uh, I guess. Well, my channel is basically most of my videos um are a mixture of like trolling videos, just messing with people videos, and then just recently about two two weeks ago, I started up a podcast which I really enjoy like doing it uh usually once a week but um oh that's that's your video um <laughs> I, I just went to your channel just to, like check out some of the stuff um that that was your uh one of your videos but yeah I, i'm like looking through this uh, a lot of trolling stuff yeah um and then i see your two podcasts yeah this one should be up um next monday because i like to upload one a week so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah so it should be up next monday Awesome. But yeah, what do you, on your channel, um, you upload a lot more than I do. You upload I about do. like every day. I so. up upload every day. Or, uh, I have for about, I don't even know how long it's been. I started last Memorial Day um, just because I was bored. That's why I really do anything. Uh, <laughs> boredom is my life. Uh, but anyway, so I just kind of play games that I, uh, that I enjoy. So for example... Um, I, I don't know if you have watched, uh, I don't know if you watch a whole lot of Minecraft, um, but I, I kind of, I'm kind of into, into Minecraft, um, more so the creative aspect, I like building things, so I do a lot of that on my channel, um, I have like a huge mega project going, and then a smaller project going currently, I might start going a little bit away from that, because, you know, it's starting to be less interesting for me. Um, so after I finish this mini project, I'm probably just going to stay with the uh, one big project every couple days. Um, I'm really starting to get back into zombies. As you can, uh, on my channel actually, uh, today actually, so I'm uploading it. Um, 120 rounds of zombies, Black Ops 3 edition. I... So what the whole premise of it is, is uh, I'm going to do 20 rounds on each of the six maps. For a total of 120 rounds of zombies. Uh, so right now I'm doing it for Black Ops 3. I think the one going up today is Zetsubo. So, you know, maybe Ooh. don't watch that one. You might want to watch. <laughs> uh, my first one was super long. I put it up. It was It's, it's more than two hours long. And I'm kind of regretting it. Uh, it had three maps in it, though. It had Shadows, The Giant, and um, DE. So that was the first 60. The first 60 rounds. Uh, I've also uploaded Revelations. The last one I have to do is um, going to be, you know, Garod. I'm not Garod, sure when that's yeah. going to go up. I haven't recorded it yet. Yeah. 20 rounds of Garod. I want to, and uh, with the with the um, backwards compatible compatibility of Black Ops 2, I kind of want to start doing something with that. Yes. And, yeah, I mean, I kind of just play whatever I feel like. I think I have a Skyrim series. Yeah, I have a Skyrim series going on. I want to start a bat, uh a um bioshock one soon i just kind of play games yeah know. it looks definitely <laughs> a lot of effort definitely you know <laughs> grinding it um oh, but yeah. yeah anybody watching this um i'll leave it in the description go subscribe to james plays he uploads as, every day yeah as as i will i'll leave a uh, i'll leave a yeah. link to your channel in the description of course because uh um i hope we can uh, we can do some more collaboration in the future also definitely that would be that would be hopefully beneficial Mm -hmm. and fruitful for both our channels so that would, that would be good more fruitful for my channel i mean uh mostly i do mine just for fun i don't really care about uh subscribers or anything like that um i kind of but i also kind of like being in the youtube community you know i like talking to people being able to do things such as this being on a podcast uh and because i haven't really like gone out there and done stuff i think i have let's check real quick 30 subs wow <laughs> that's uh that's great um, speaking of which, my question for you is, how did you find my channel? Or me? I gotta, th I gotta think. Hold up, wait. Was it when I, I, cause I DM'd you on Twitter, right? You did DM me on Twitter, and my question was, A, how did you, f how did you, like, find me? And did, like, did you, did it come from YouTube or Twitter? Okay. I'm just so confused. <laughs> okay, I think I know now. So, what happened was I was trying to look for people to get on the podcast who had um, some knowledge about World War II zombies, you know, Call of Duty in general. 
Mm-hmm. Um, and so I think who was it? Hold up. I gotta see. Hold up. I don't know who it was actually. Yeah, I I went to a Call of Duty YouTuber. I went to his follow list, uh, right? Mm-hmm. And then, and then I looked and I went to everyone's channel and I was looking at people who had you know Call of Duty who people who you know put Call of Duty YouTube um, on their channel to some extent. And then I just you know, I was like, all right, this person looks like they you know they got some good information, they got some good input about it. And then I just DM'd you about it. Oh, okay. I'm uh, that's that's really interesting. So I have uh, I'm now now I'm looking at my followers uh, just to see who this could have been. Um, oh, I hmm. Okay, I'm not really hundred percent sure, uh, <laughs> but that's that's cool. Um, I'm I'm gonna definitely have to go searching through Twitter more. To, to find people like yourself who are pretty awesome and uh, can do can do like recording and stuff. Yeah, it's super fun to do it with anybody. So, do we want to tell people about Skype troubles or um um yeah next little bit here? Skype is is difficult when <laughs> you can't find the right person and then and then uh, mm-hmm. when your audio is not working uh, and the output is wrong and microphone stuff happens. <laughs> Oh my god, Skype. Oh, Skype is so trash. Skype's got some issues, so let's be honest here. Skype has issues. Usually when I talk on Skype, I'm on uh, I'm on my uh, iPad. But I'm, but my, my iPad's pretty much dead right now. It's charging, I think. And I wanted to be able to talk on my uh, uh on my, you know, computer. That way I could do some, you know, pretty easy recording. Yeah. Um I'm using that audacity thing that you told me about. Yeah. I didn't quite get the entire beginning, but uh, I think I don't think it's recording your audio actually. So, um, well, if you do want me to send my audio to you, I'd be happy to do it. Okay, yeah, that works. And if you're using Audacity, it's probably not recording my audio. Yeah, I'm. I think I'm using OBS though to record my computer, so uh, I, I have your audio. That's okay, what I did. So that that would make more sense. Yeah, so, but I'll send you my audio. Okay, yeah, thanks. Uh, <laughs> Because I'm, I'm definitely going to upload this. I might actually postpone um, posting the uh, garage thing for a couple days because I want to put this up. You said you're yeah. going to post it Monday? Yeah, probably Monday I'll upload this. Uh, I can do that. All right. So um, it should work for this. Yeah. But guys, get also... Get some gameplay in the back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> put down the one, one, uh, 120 rounds of oh. Zetsu. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> um but yeah, that was that was good. Um everybody watching um go follow uh James on or go follow him on Twitter, go uh-huh. subscribe to him on YouTube. Twitter is and the best place to talk to me, I guess. You know? Yeah. That's how, I, that's how I found him. It's got it's got all my uploads every single day 7 p.m. ish. 7 p.m. if I'm doing hot, and uh, a little bit, actually quite a lot of bit later if I, if I, if I fall asleep or something, because every now and then that happens. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, all of my viewers, if anyone's watching this, <laughs> go uh, go subscribe to uh, this guy. I'll leave his link in the description, Danny. Um, but uh, yeah, I think that, I think, I think we're doing... I had I had fun. Thank you uh, for inviting me on the podcast. Thank you for being on it. It was it was very very fun. Oh yeah, um, hit me up if you ever want to do something like this again, or if you just want to play uh, zombies or something. Definitely, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, thank you guys for watching. Yeah. Thank you guys. Um, I guess. I guess that's it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. That is it for the first podcast uh, with him. Uh, the real ordeal, I think he's calling himself now. <laughs> um, but uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure to go subscribe to his channel. There will be a link in the description. Bye.